That's what I like most about it. Plays with a great tempo. But Canada not backing down early on. Nguimbi with the rebound to the bucket. That one off the mark for Maiga. And a whistle, count it, and the foul. That's what you need. That's what they have to do. I'll create opportunities to get in transition and get fouls. I mean, that's your best player right there, drawing some, some, some attention and then finding his teammate. That's what makes an all-around good player. And a steal to the basket. Up and in. My God. And we talk about those some of these uh, young men and women with great ball handling ability. Oh, Jay Will is up there with some of the best with his trickery ever. Some of the best ever. Yes. Our tail with a rebound and an easy basket. Easter's team takes a 21 to 13 lead. And now they're starting to turn on the yep. pressure. This is playing right into team, uh, uh, the African teams, uh, right into their hands. They're a team that likes to get up and down, pass ahead, easy layup. Mohamed Maiga with the finish. And Coach Rakudu has to be pleased with the 13 to 1 run his team has gone on. We've already seen one technical. Yeah. <laughs> In our girls' game, there's no coaching spots, but you got to kind of feel your way around there and not come out too far. It, it already is, I would argue. You know, I think um, as more and more kids, both in the U.S. and around the world, see the level of competition, see the exposure um, that this game is getting around the world, more and more clubs, more and more players will want to be a part of that. So the sky's the limit for this competition. It's a good sign. And Gwimby with 10 points in the second quarter. Five-point lead. Smart. And if Canada is to win this game, they're going to have to knock down some long-range jump shots. Yes. Because even if they play any of the American teams, they're very aggressive on the offensive glass as well. Jabili with the and one. And he'll go to the line trying to complete the conventional three-point play. He had 10 in the first half, 12 now, 49-44. This is the International Boys Final here at the Junior NBA World Championship. The winner to take on the Americans tomorrow. And the American title game is after this one. King Wimby to the hole, finger roll up and in. Defensive instincts, I mean, they're big. He's, he's the tallest guy on the floor. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Madame Adola strip picked up. In Wimby. And one. Just, I mean, on paper, that's your center. Yeah. Listen, anytime you bring NBA players out to watch younger guys play, you know it means something. Because NBA players aren't taking a lot of time out of their schedule to come watch kids play. In Gwimby. And a rebound to guess who? And that should do it. 93 to 75 the final. This was Africa's closest game of this tournament. Mamine with 30. Maiga with 30. And Gwimby with 23. Mamine with a triple-double. Maiga had five steals, and Gwimby had five steals. And that is it, 93-75. to 75. The African Middle Eastern team are the international junior NBA champions. Now they will await the winner of our next game between the Americans to play for a world championship tomorrow.